Yo, what is good, YouTube? And welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Dark Matter Ricky Davis. First Dark Matter gameplay for today. Excited to try out this Ricky Davis card, man. He's 6'7". I think he's going to be awesome at the 2. I will say, as great as he is, there's nobody better than Glenn Rice at the 2. And we can just start pretty much every video on a shooting guard. So Vince Carter, Scottie Pippen, same thing. They're not better than Glenn Rice. That's okay. I do think this Ricky Davis might actually be the best of today's shooting guard options, and there are a few, and they are all very good. I think he is very much a competitive level card. I think he's going to be really good. Excited to try him out. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Massive shout out to my boy Dylan for letting me hop on his account to record this video. Really appreciate that a ton as well. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. Ricky Davis is um, six foot seven, 99 offense and defense, 97 driving layup 97 close shot 96 mid range 96 three ball uh 92 free third 98 driving dunk 96 ball handle 94 steel and perimeter 89 interior 96 speed to a ball 94 excel 98 vert uh 98 stamina 96 lateral quickness overall just a really good card 38 hops include fast twitch posterizer slithery agent three blinders dead eye limitless handles for days anchor challenger clamps glove rebound chaser precision dunker blow by speed booster really everything 94 feet i mean he's got gold and movable enforcer which is pretty much uh all I really need at 6'7 at shooting guard, I don't need that on Hoff. It would have been nice, but like I think with his offensive capabilities, he is going to be more than good enough defensively to very much be as good as any shooting guard. Basically, that's not named Glenn Rice, in my opinion. I think he very much challenges our test, T-Mac, B-Roy, uh, Carmelo, Kobe, etc. Those types of guys as best of the best. Because, number one, fade, I will say it's not the greatest fade in the world, but to release itself, catch and shoot is just cash money. That Seth Curry base Oscar upper is as easy to green and as smooth as ever. Let me make sure. Let's just check what timing i'm on i'm on push i'm not even on the fast enough timing and i'm still sm oh my goodness this release is fast this is a really quick release i'm not okay i didn't realize how quick this release was because i was shooting on push this is a really quick release he's got great sigs kimba escape uh Kyrie dribble style um great drag back Jamal Murray behind the back, like everything you need out of a three hunter. This card has really, really good release as well. He may not quite be Glenn Rice, but he's the second best shooting guard in the game, probably, in all honesty, just because of how good his shot creation is, how good his release is, and how well he moves in addition to just how complete he is as a card. The fact that he's big and versatile at 6'7 with legit defensive ability. I don't think Vince Carter or Scottie Pippen got souped the way that this card did, to be honest, and I do believe he is probably the best Honestly, the best non Glenn Rice shooting guard in the game, maybe. Like, he's going to be right there with Ron Artest, T Mac, those guys in that best of the best discussion. So, let's hop in right into a game. Let's see what Ricky Davis can do. All right, hopping into this game. I'm not going to lie. We have an absolutely terrifying team Cade Cunningham, Ricky Davis. I have KP and Wimby on this team, in addition to Danny Ferry. This dude, Dylan, has one of the craziest accounts I have ever seen. Good move to start us off. He flies by. Ricky, that should be green. That's blinders. Let's go. I did not have a ton of stamina left. I might have over dribbled a little bit in that possession. One thing I got to remember is with cards like Ricky Davis, I can't over dribble. I be doing gameplays with some of these cards sometimes and <gasps> over dribble with them and they're tired by the end of the gameplay because I'm trying to three hunt so much and I'm over dribbling trying to like get clips and stuff. But I got to chill and play smart. Um, get back, KP. Play the drive. Oh, he did didn't get to that thought that was going to get a block there but i unfortunately did not but that's okay let's put the ball in ricky davis's hands i'm in four out one in i haven't even done any settings I haven't adjusted my freelance i don't think it matters i think four out one in as long as as long as i run the pick and roll properly will actually work ricky gets to the rim he's super athletic y'all see the green window on that he got blocked i'm not that bothered by him getting blocked there it's going to happen sometimes you're going to get blocked his center rotated out the corner um that's not ricky davis's fault really that's just the way the game is um uh, but he, he's he's a legit he's very much uh as, as much a slasher as he is a three hunter is what i'm saying um same side burst here matched up against jimmy butler i will say is not a super favorable matchup get to the corner catch and shoot Cade cunningham easy green light if you're going to give me that open of a three ball we will take our assist as well and uh, let's step up here contest this very nice play up um is that adam morrison adam morrison is a card you don't see very much but that he grilled he drilled it good shot man takes the lead retakes the lead i should say very very good start for my opponent he's playing well um drive the ball here ricky get downhill again uh send a back door oh that's an easy dunk we'll take our assist easy dunk we got um one of the most dominant cards in the game with a huge mismatch and he's behind the defender that's that's free money right there get back can i get a chase down oh let's go Wimby, making plays for me then this team is crazy bro uh chill let's go same side and he fouls me that's almost i would think transition i guess not transition not really okay 
I'd like to get a defender into the screen here. If I could just get him to touch the screen a little bit, that would be really nice, honestly. Uh, I just need to create a little bit of separation. This dude's not, he's playing really good on ball defense. I'm gonna give him credit for that, honestly. Attack downhill again. I probably had a dunk there that time, didn't I? See if I can get him stuck. I'm a little, I'm starting to do the over dribbling thing that I'm a little worried about. Um, behind the back here, throw the slip. We'll take our assist. You know what? This dude's doing a good job defensively and I'm willing to take my assists. Just doing the smart thing. Three and three so far for Ricky Davis. He is, I feel like he's about as good of a facilitator as you have in the game right now. It's guys like him, SGA, um, and um, Glenn Rice, honestly, are, who are probably the best like primary ball handler facilitator type guys right now. Uh, I just think Ricky Davis can handle the ball at a really high level. He's a legit primer who has all the badges he needs on the offensive end of the court. He's got size. He's got slashing ability. And then he holds it out at a high level defensively as well. This is as good as it gets to doing our position. Downhill drive again, super athletic and finishes at the rim. I understand Ricky Davis wasn't this like it in real life. Uh, honestly, the only thing I knew Ricky Davis for pretty much before this, his cards in 2K from last year. Was that last year that he got the pink diamond? I think it was. Yeah, the last year was the year that Ricky Davis got an amazing pink diamond. And then uh, the legend of Ricky Davis has begun since then. Um, but I knew him for his triple double. If y'all remember Ricky Davis, he has the infamous triple double thing where he intentionally missed on the other basket to try to get himself a 10th rebound to get a triple double. If y'all didn't know that, look it up. It's, it's a pretty hilarious clip, honestly. He just straight up ripped me with uh, Jimmy Butler. I'm getting a little tired. I'm not going to lie. Uh, same side burst here behind the back. We're shooting it. That move is nasty. Dude, he's tired too. His release is great. With the release this fast, this level of movement, this level of shot making ability, and this level of just defense and size and versatility, he's he is the best shooting guard not named Glenn Rice in the game. I, I think that might actually be true. And that includes 100 overall. Well, I, I like his release better than 100 overall T-Max. And then Ron Artest, he's a little better. Well, shot creator, I don't know. Ron Artest is probably on the same level. It's him and Ron Artest, I think, are the two best, honestly, after uh, Glenn Rice. And this card is really, really damn good. You got to remember, he is an exceptional athlete. I mean, we've seen the slashing a couple times. Big, big green window. They're going to have a gigantic green window there as well. And that's another easy stick dunk. You got to respect his three balls so high. He can use that Jamal Murray behind the back to create so much space. And he gets his release off so quick as well. It's like... He is really, really good. Do not sleep on this card. They souped him up animation-wise big time, which doesn't surprise me because obviously he had the souped animations last year as well. There's a miss. Ricky Davis in transition. Catch. Pass fake to set your feet. Now back it up. Back it up. Drag back. Behind the back. Drag it back again. Behind the back this way. Same side burst. And I didn't mean to shoot that. I'm not going to lie. I set my feet and just tried to pump fake. That's Y'all see it very early there. That's unfortunate. I didn't mean to shoot that, but he is kind of tired at this point. And that's understandable because we've dribbled a lot with him. But really, uh, that's a crazy steal. Very impressive game, though. Ricky Davis. I mean, only 11-3, and three, but I do feel very, very impressed by what he's been able to do in this game. I feel like, not sure what happened there, but I feel like he can really be a primary ball handler at an elite level. I mean, against a guy like Jimmy Butler, who's a phenomenal defender. And honestly, my opponent in this game doesn't feel like a bad player at all. And just feel like Ricky's been able to kind of get, get whatever whenever he's needed to. And at the free throw line, he's also going to be automatic. And there's the quit. Ricky Davis, dominant, honestly. Very, very good offensive card. Elite defensively as well, honestly. Super versatile, super good. I'm a fan. I'm a big fan. He is as good as it gets to shooting our position pretty much. Obviously, I think Glenn Rice is better, but Ricky Davis is probably your second best in the game right now, honestly. Very, very good card. When I luck in the set with MT here in a couple days, uh, I would not mind getting to Ricky Davis at all. He would be a great addition to my team. So, hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.